So here's what happened. Natalie said, I've got a great idea for a video. We should do a video of gifts for RVers. Yeah. And I was like, that's genius. Actually, I, that's not what I heard. What I heard was, can you go on Amazon and buy everything that would be a cool gift for an RVer? Um, so we've put this list, list together and I completely misunderstood the request. Yes. Um, but we do have a list. <laughs> what? But your choices are a bit more practical, shall we say. I bought loads of stuff. And yes, oh. Natalie made me wear my Christmas sweater for this. We have a list of 30 things, various different prices, most of them under $50, that we're going to quickly run through that you can buy your friend if they're an RVer. For Christmas? For Christmas. Or birthdays. Okay, Natalie, let's go. So we're kicking off the under 50 under, $50? under 50s first, yeah. These aren't in any particular order. Okay, but they so they are under $50 right now. A gift for under $50, you can get your fellow RVer or an RV person that you like. Um, is the funny t shirts. I actually got one of these for Lawrence for his birthday. RV there, yeah, all those kind of oh, things. Yeah. They're quite funny. Um, so, yeah, fun little t shirt. They're usually about 20 bucks. Um, and so my list is more stuff. You did like really cool gifts, nice gifts yes, for people. Yes, that was the point. I bought like things I would want, but I probably wouldn't buy. <laughs> so I did buy them because that's what Natalie told me to do. Or that's what I heard. <laughs> so one of my things is a boot scraper. So there's been a bunch of times when we've been out um, on hikes and uh, I've had my boots dirty and then Natalie will complain because I've walked in all the mud into the trailer and then we have to clean up. So a boot scraper, it's not very expensive and we don't have one and I want one. No, it is, kind of, yeah, that would be handy. I want one for Christmas. <laughs> so another thing that we have got that would be a fun little gift are some step rugs. So same thing as the boot scraper, it's something to just to wipe your feet off before you come in, especially sand. But for us, it was super handy for our old dog to be able to use our Aluminum, aluminium, how do you say it? Aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium steps to get into the camper. Yeah. Um, so I chose something that's really simple that most people really have already, but it's the um, RV levelers that you stick on the side of the RV so that you know when it's level. Yeah, I think that's a good cheap little gift. Yeah, they're cheap, get. they're easy, you can replace them. Most people have them on their trailers, they've been on there for years if their trailer's old, and it's really easy just to replace. Um, we use the Levelmate Pro. Um, which we haven't included in this list, but I wouldn't live without it if I'm honest. I don't even think it should be a gift, it should come with trailers. I don't think that's under $50. It's not under $50, <laughs> but these stick-on things work just as well, and uh, I think they're great, and they should be on all sides of the trailers, and they're cheap. Okay, so going back to actual gifts, um, tea towels. If you go on Amazon, there's like a bunch of little tea towels. Again, just funny ideas and quirky things, and who doesn't need tea towels? Yeah. Um, so one that I've wanted since we've started this, and again, see this is something, this is something that I've wanted since the beginning, and I just wouldn't buy it for myself and no one's bought it for me, Natalie. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the RV travel map, and I know a lot of people have these, That's and true. I think they're great. And as you go to each state, you have stickers, it's a big poster, you have stickers, and as you go to each state, you stick the stickers on. They're pretty cheap, you can put them anywhere in the trailer, some people even put them on a board if they know they're not going to keep their trailer. Um, we don't have one. That's true. I'll, I'll make that on your list. Thank you. You already brought yourself. Okay. I didn't buy that for myself. <laughs> you stopped me before when all of this stuff arrived. That I'm going to show you in a minute. So another one that's usually under fifty dollars, depending on the level of quality, I guess, is a hammock. And I see a lot of people using hammocks when they're out in the campsites. You have to watch out in some national parks. You're not allowed to use the ropes. Yeah, you I can't think. use you ropes. Have you have to use, use straps. straps. Yeah. So just watch out which kind that you're buying. Um, but that's a cheap little fun gift. Yeah, so here's something that uh, I bought myself. <laughs> Hose not, connectors. Not a Christmas gift. Yeah, I know, but these are great. Again, I wanted these the whole time. And some people are saying, oh, you shouldn't really use these. I don't see why not. It's a quick release hose connector. I got four. So uh, basically you screw that into the trailer and then you put this on the end of your hose and it just quick releases in. So you have to pull the sleeve back. Oh, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> and it goes in. So you can disconnect and then connect. It saves you from twisting it round. Um, I got four, one for the fresh water, one for the black tank flush, and then two for the other side. Brilliant, <laughs> can't wait to go and fit these. Another little gift that you can buy, fellow RVer, is the little cute um, pillows that you can just have like your throat pillows. <laughs> Jax, Jax, no, now is not time to play. Come here, come here. Thank you. So, 
Another thing that I've wanted, and we had a uh, water regulator because if you put too much pressure through your trailer um, pipes, they will burst. And I think ours are 45 PSI, I really should double check that. Um, so uh, we bought one and it was just a cheap run from an Amazon. It's been great, it looks a bit old now after only about a year. Um, and I always wanted one with a gauge on it. So I bought myself this for Christmas and I can't wait to go and fit this and try it out as well. You can also adjust it. You've got a little screw on the top here. And so you can adjust the, the pressure of the water um, in there. And yeah, brilliant. Love it. Mm. Thank you. Kind of on the subject of hoses and things, another handy little gift to buy a RV at, thanks Roxy, is um, a tablecloth because people put hoses and stuff on tables and it's disgusting um, so it's always handy to have tablecloths when you go to your RV sites to put on the picnic tables uh -huh. for sure this is something else I've always wanted as well <laughs> it's a uh, extendable breakaway cable um, everyone has a breakaway cable I bought this one one because it's got the, the big hook on it that can hook onto the truck and two is because it's uh, bouncy what do you call this Springy. It's springy. So <laughs> our one is just a term. cable and it, I'm worried that it will drag along the floor or it will get um, attached to our uh, sway bars. Um, so I wanted one of these. I just never got around to buying it and now Natalie gave me permission to buy it for myself. Sticking with a bit more of a kitchen theme, um, the... I can't think of the word... Chopping boards! I've seen these cute little chopping boards that are like shaped like a camper and they're quite thin and they're quite easy to just throw in your camper lightweight so chopping boards chopping boards and actually i've seen that one it looks really cool it looks like you could put like a little dish in the corner for some dip yes. or something yeah it's <laughs> nice okay i didn't even know these existed until i started looking Not for things for this video Not good. this is an amazing gift you don't even need to be an rv -er. this is a hitch handle so you put this on your hitch and you can pull the hitch out and you don't get covered in grease, which happens to me every single time. Never seen anyone use it. I'm sure they're more popular than I've looked, than I've realized, but uh, I can't wait to use this as well. Okay. Well, for when you are outside relaxing and enjoying life, I was thinking about doing the same, my ankles are home. You're old now. <laughs> I know. Um, Glow lights, I love them like where people put them all pretty around their awning and everything. Again, under 50 bucks, quite cute. Don't leave them on all night, that's very annoying. Um, but just for the evening, I think it's a lovely little touch. It is. And Tom and Liz had some when we went to Harvest Toast. And, yes. Uh, it was really nice. Um, okay. <sighs> Didn't know these existed either. <laughs> this is a towing organizer. And so when you take off your safety chains and you kind of just flip them over the front of the trailer and then you just kind of dangle your breakaway cable and your seven pin hitch for the electrics over the front, they actually make towing organizers. So uh, you just like bolt this onto your front jack and then you can hitch everything on here and it just stows it away nicely. And it's cheap. Other things that are cheap. <laughs> Lawrence, um, <laughs> is picture frames. There are some really cute little camper picture frames that I've come across that again, I'm just like, oh, this is so sweet. Um, you'd obviously need to also buy them, then it will stick on. What is it that stuff called that you can stick to your camper and it won't and put it back off? <laughs> I know, uh, the command strips. Command strips, wanted to get some of those as well for your little cute camper picture frame. But yeah, picture frames. Nice, okay. I think this is the last thing I have to show right here, but uh, again, uh, Rob and Michelle put us onto this. I know you'll need to check if you're buying this for someone else, you probably just want to have a quick look in their trailer. Look inside the door and do they have one of these on their uh, screen door, on the screen door that they've got? Because closing the screen door is horrible yeah. and when we went to Rob and Michelle's they had one of these and it was so easy to close it. Like It's so simple but so effective. So I will agree with you on that one, so that thanks. is handy. So I bought you this for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, last one for me under $50 is camping pyjamas. There's lots of them out there but there are some funny ones when it comes to ones, you know, dad type joke ones. So I'll let you look those for yourself, but we'll put a link to the ones that I think are funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and yeah, my last thing is, oh, it's back on the dirt in the trailer. Um, a rug for outside. 
Everyone um, has an outdoor rug apart from us, I think. Yeah, we've never had an outdoor rug, and I really wish we would because it would stop me traipsing stuff in yeah. a lot of the time. So RVs would appreciate that. One place in Texas where it's really muddy, and it would be cool to have one of those Ooh. rugs. So they're designed yeah. for outside, so it's not a rug that you can like vacuum and stuff from the house. It's a proper one for outside. It just keeps the dust down and the dirt out and things. So yeah, yeah, we we've never invested in one, but we've always meant to. Okay, so we're on to the 50 to to $100. We don't have many things on this section. Um, but Natalie? Um, outdoor chairs. So there's definitely a big variety. I bought you one of those big dogs, something oh, or others. It. it is lovely, but it is extremely bulky when we're traveling. So actually, again, it was Rob and Michelle that put us onto these cute little, like, um, swinging chairs that they have yeah um and they were really reasonable i think they were like 55 dollars. so yeah definitely yeah. something like that for a fellow camper they would appreciate it yeah they're really comfortable and they have a little rocking motion to them yeah it was nice so my item between 50 and 100 dollars is uh the chair that you bought me oh okay you think it's worth it um yeah so comfortable i mean it is bulky we're going to warn you that it is bulky um it does take up a load of space but it's it's, very it's huge and it's comfortable and it's sturdy and yeah it's just it's so nice we, I've sat in it for hours and I didn't ache or anything so um, and it's warm yeah so yes okay next in the category for 50 to 100 dollars is an air fryer now I've been turned on to this thank you to Leslie from the Wayward Wags who Thanks, convinced Leslie. me to get an air fryer in the first place I now have like four um, <laughs> but they're usually yeah, price between fifty to hundred dollars, um, and I think RVs would appreciate it because it's using the electric, not gas. Yeah. So definitely looking to a decent air fryer. Yeah, it is very similar to using a convection oven, but um, I don't know why. I think we prefer it. Like I was pretty mad when Natalie bought it, and Leslie, <laughs> Leslie sold it to Natalie. Not literally sold it, but sold the idea. So Natalie bought one, um, and I was like, "What are we doing with this?" <laughs> and we love it. So we have since sold the one, the smaller one, because we always use it so much and yeah. we cook so much. The small one is great for like two or three of you, but when we were cooking for like five people, we wanted to use the air fryer for stuff because it makes chicken wings amazing. We oh, put it does. the jalapeno new one, we, poppers. yeah, the jalapeno poppers. Oh. The new one we put, it's got a rotisserie yes, thing on it. Yes, it has got a new rotisserie. We'll I have found to add like a link a, to that one. Jax is eating my hand right now. <laughs> What's up, Jax? Hi. Come here. Um, anyway, we love it. We think it's um, amazing. So yeah, we we love that. Sorry, that was your thing. Um, it's okay. When we went to Harvest House with Todd and Liz, they had this really cool folding camping table. Yes. Um, and it folds up real small, real thin. It's really light and it's really useful. Just for like, just to put your, your cups and stuff on when you're outside. A lemon 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 lemon. A lemon lemon lemon. It's a lemon lemon lemon. It's a lemon lemon lemon. And it folds up. Yeah. Aluminium. Anyway, <laughs> aluminum. It folds up um, uh, really small, really, yes. really light. And it's just, it was, it was amazing. It was sturdy so. and that's the main thing. I hate yeah. some of these camping tables that you touch and like everything. But when you've got dogs yeah. around, you're no, you need something that's going to Well, they would up. still knock it over. It's not that sturdy, but it's it's pretty it's good. Better than some of the ones that we've had. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, stuff for over a hundred dollars. Now, dun, dun, dun. I had a list. I could have made this a hundred item list. Um, but it's but not I, Christmas I gifts, so we've it's narrowed Christmas it down. So, yeah, there's some really cool gifts, um, especially if you have like close family or for your other half or something. Um, the one thing I really want is the solo stove. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, BB. It's a fire pit and it basically it's smokeless. You can you burn wood in it, but it's smokeless um, because it basically recycles the air and it kind of burns the smoke off. No idea how that works. Let's just leave it as that. It's amazing. It is um, amazing. We have a friend who has one. He's not an RVer, but he has one and he loves it as well. He uses it in his backyard. Um, they are expensive, but one day. We don't own one now, but one day, probably December 25th, 2020, <laughs> we'll own one. See what RV Santa brings. <laughs> um, so another thing that everyone raves about, we're not a huge fan, um, and I'll let Lawrence explain why, but it's an ice maker. Like I know so many RVers that are like, you have to have an ice maker, an ice maker is the best thing ever. In fact, I don't know people that have ice makers in their fridge, but will buy a separate ice maker yeah. because they love ice so much here. <laughs> Um, that's probably not something that we would buy ourselves. You would but... like, I think you would use it. I, I, margaritas. I don't like ice. I don't, I generally don't like really cold things 
ever. In general, yeah. So, yeah, so, but yeah, we know so many people who have ice makers and they think it's amazing. So, yeah. if you have a friend who has an RV who doesn't have an ice maker, he probably wants one. Yes. Or she. That's very sexist. <laughs> um, okay, um, oh, yeah, so here's another thing that will probably arrive on our doorstep on December the 25th is the 22 inch Blackstone. This is this is huge in the RV community. People love it. Um, oh, and uh, again, Rob and Michelle have one. We cooked on it. It was really there. cool. Doesn't Looks Papa Drew really have easy. One? Yeah, Papa Drew's got one. Loads of people, especially the RVers, have these. Um, we would probably want the 22 inch so that we could cook a bunch of stuff. I did have a look at the 17 a while, 17 inch a while back, but I didn't mm -hmm. buy it. But um, yeah, the Blackstone. Need I say more? Look on YouTube. Hundreds of videos about them. We don't have one. Really want one. <laughs> I can't see we'll stuff. be here. Christmas 2020 for sure well something else that I feel like this is more a you thing than a than a Christmas gift but I do see the point RV locks have a look into them they are totally worth it um, and I think your RV friend would appreciate it I don't know anyone yeah. that doesn't love their RV locks no I mean they wear down but you can buy spare parts for them a few people are a bit angry because of the buttons wear down no, um, but I think that's after those. years of use. These are full-timers as well that have had this problem. So they're using it constantly throughout the day, every, yeah. all day, every day. So, so it, it's, it's no big deal. But yeah, we love the RV locks. I, I would not have another trailer without them for sure. Yeah. Um, for two reasons actually. One is because they're really convenient. They have a little button that you can lock and unlock it with. But My the other phobia. thing is some of the keys on some of the compartments are all the same for all the trailers. Uh, I only found that out fairly aspect. recently. Yeah, so <laughs> people can just steal your stuff if you don't change those locks. Okay, um, and here's something that RVDM put us onto actually, which is the Berkey water filter. Oh yes. Um, so it's an amazing thing. You can go look it up. We'll leave a link um, to all of the stuff below actually. But yeah, have a look at the the Berkey water filter. We t they let us taste the water, which is amazing. Rob and Michelle bought one after. Um, Michael and Tiffany showed them theirs. So yeah, the Berkey water filter, it's amazing. The filters last forever. Um, it's really good, really well built as well. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we will have one one day, but I want this other stuff first. Well, last but not least, another thing that people are absolutely raving about, if you don't have the air fryer, is gonna be the Instant Pot or Insta Pot. One of those, Instant Pot. I think it's the Insta Pot is the brand and then other people have copied it and called it the Instant Pot. Oh, okay something like that but yeah that's that's a little bit more pricey but rv is absolutely rave about it have we so ever had we one wanna, we've never no. owned one have we we've had everything People. but the crock pot the griddle no one the... sold natalie that as much as uh leslie sold you the i think i missed fryer. that i think the, the air fryer it was like everyone raved got the instant pot and then the air fryer came out and everyone's moved on i think i just missed the instant pot era uh, i don't know i know people who still love it oh, they do they really they do i know they a lot do. of people that like it i'm not doing it. I'm not doing it so right. we're gonna stick with our air Fine. fryer but yes if you really love someone buy them an Insta Pot. <laughs> instant pot <laughs> instant pot not anyway. diamonds okay instant so pot. both me and Natalie <laughs> had this on our list um, and it's a Harvest Host membership so of as course. you know a few weeks ago we went away with Todd and Liz on Harvest Host week uh, where we just stayed purely at Harvest Host boondocking. Um, really cool, we did two videos on that actually. Mm -hmm. uh, really cool time. Um, Harvest Host membership is very affordable. I think the lower level is $70 and the higher is 110 or 120, 130, something like that. Anyway, you get 15% off if you use our um, referral, uh, code. referral code. Use it or don't, it's still an amazing gift. If someone yes. gifted me that, then that I'd would be, be well amazing. chuffed. And even you, who didn't even, who hated the idea. No, I'm that's not, who I'm this would be a good just, gift for. People yeah. who don't want to do this, True. give make them the them harvest house and, and make them do it. But just say, why? I bought you this. Why aren't you using it? And I promise you, they'll love it. They will. Yes, they will. do it. <laughs> anyway, no idea how long that took. How long to take a guess? Oh, this is always fun. Twenty. We did thirty items. Twenty-two minutes. Twenty-two minutes. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how much I can cut you out of it so we can bring it down. <laughs> Um, all right, so anyway, that's a cool list of stuff. Um, I'll put some, uh, Natalie's gonna do a blog post, aren't you? Oh. Natalie's gonna do a blog post because oh, yeah. we found loads of other stuff that's really cool. So we'll put that on the on our website, brazenbrits.com, um, under stuff we use. We don't use all of this, but we'll put it under there. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then take a look. I'll put a link down below as well, so you can click on that, but there's a bunch of other stuff <gasps> and we'll put them in price categories. But we're missing the most important gift that you should buy someone this year. We have the most important gift. That is limited, so you need to go and buy it now. We were asked, for, we've been asked for so long to create some t-shirts, they want to buy some merch from us. Merch, I love saying that. No. What's up guys? No, um, so we have to buy, uh, so 
Yeah, so we have... Spit out. I'm not very good at talking. I'm so excited. <laughs> you are. That's so funny. Come on, you can do this. So we had some t-shirts made up. We did, yeah, some t-shirts. Um, so they are limited edition. Um, they are um, edition one, first edition t-shirts. We're not going to rerun this. Um, we think they look pretty cool. They look pretty smart. They're so new and we're releasing this so early that we haven't even got ours yet. Otherwise, we'd be wearing them. Yeah. So ours are on our way to us. Uh, you need to order them now and they should be with you before Christmas. Yes. That's what Bonfire, who are supplying them, um, have, have said. said. So, yeah. yeah, get in there, order them now. It's never You're never, never going to get these t-shirts again. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's good. I like them. <laughs> I designed them myself. I like the look of them. And everyone at Christmas will be like, who? But no, they'll love it. <laughs> they look cool. Anyway, now we've got to be at like 25 minutes. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right, we will uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Go buy a t-shirt. Now. Stop looking at me and go and buy the t-shirt. <laughs> I still see you. Go and buy a t-shirt. <laughs> go and buy it. That mine's floppy. That's what he said. That's what she <laughs> you are so pretty. It's like... Oh, Jack. You're a good boy. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's like, no. That's so now he went boy. to get Opie. Because he wanted to wear a hat as well and eat everything. And that's as long as he's ever sat still ever. <laughs> Ta-da! We did it. See you next week.